five spirits that control this world, please hear my prayers. The light which shines in the darkness, the bountiful earth which supports life, the pure water which moistens our throats, the wind which carries our souls to the heavens, and the flame which blows courage into the people's hearts. We are living in this world under the protection of these five spirits. However, the people have forgotten this and have become arrogant. They fight and hurt each other. How long must this tragedy be repeated? I pray to you, five spirits. Please bring us just one ray of hope. And I pray to the people, don't ever forget about the Ark which was given to you as proof of the covenant. No one shall ever be allowed to open the Ark. to leave me and run away. No, I, I can't do that, Papa. Go. You're a strong boy. You'll be okay. Papa! <gasps> you must live, son. And may the spirit of flame bless you always. Talk about a crazy nightmare. Hello everybody, uh, I am ArcLight84 and welcome to a special Let's Play that I've had uh, in the plans for the making for quite some time. This is the sequel to Ark the Lad. 
Welcome to Arc the Lad 2 for the PlayStation console. And we come to our main protagonist of this game. Instead of, even though Ark is usually the main protagonist for his adventure, uh, for the about first half, I think, of the game, we'll be focusing on Elk this time. Uh, he is a hunter that has the power to wield flame. And he is supposedly, uh, according to the dream we saw, the last of his tribe still alive that has that power. So he's been having constant nightmares of his uh, childhood past uh, from quite some time. Anyways, uh, appears to be, uh, I guess, early on in the morning, and we're going to see what's going on. Who is this? Elk, I'm glad you're still up. You've got to come to the guild right now. Lynx, do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's time to go to work. I've got a job for you. Besides, you're a hunter, remember? Saving the world from darkness at any hour? You're not supposed to care when the jobs come to you, just how much they pay. Well, he does make a point. Speaking of which, how much are we talking here? You'll do it then? Great, we'll talk money at the guild. Get ready. And that gives us a chance to save our game. Uh... Normally, there's a spot for us to sit. Oh, yeah. I don't think that's a, that appears yet. Uh, not really much you can do. Uh, before we head on out, I guess I might as well go over some of the controls for you guys real fast. Um, for those of you that are newcomers to playing this game. Uh, start pretty much pauses the game and shows you how much time you spent playing this. Which has been about ten minutes now. Uh, let's see... Square brings up the, uh, the menu. You can check to see how many items you got, which right now we have a revival dust, two herbs, and a stone. And I want to keep up with that. Uh, you can change your equipment, such as, because you have a... Uh, unlike the last Ark the Lad game, uh, where you was only able to equip uh, accessories, which was about up to four per character. In this case, you get the switch between weapons and armor and another side item, which can be either... You can equip items, because some of them do give you uh, special abilities, or you can put on another piece of uh, piece of side armor. Um, right now, we're going to keep it as it is, because um, we want to keep the gauze wrap, since that's our only armor. And, uh, let's see. Actually, I think I'm going to put on the revival dust, since that increases our attack a bit, instead of the herb. Um, also, uh, another thing to... to um, Keep take note of uh, in this game. A lot of during battles, a lot of stuff levels up. You can level up your spear if you use it a certain amount of times, which can increase your attack. And um, as the level goes up, and your ability, your skill to wield such weapons. Uh, same deal going with armor. If you take a lot of damage, it increases the toughness of your armor. So it's always good. Oops, I did not mean to take that off. Uh, okay. Let's see, status, of course, it checks, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, this checks uh, the ability as far as attack, defense, magic, agility, and such. Uh, in this case, this character can use three different types of weapons. Uh, he can use, he can wield a sword, a spear, which he starts off with, and an axe, uh, depending on which you choose to go with. I'll probably be alternating between the three, but I might mostly be using the spear for its uh, range. Um, Let's see, and this also shows uh, how many, uh, what spells you have. Right now, he only has one firestorm, which I will show that later. Uh, that also levels up too, uh, as much as you use it. So, uh, anyways, backing out. Uh, monsters is kind of grayed out, but that comes later. And options, of course, you can switch uh, what sound you want. Blah blah blah. Well, you get the idea. The only thing I'm going to change is the confirmed finish, because that tends to get tedious if you. Usually it's like, when you press the triangle button when you want to make your final uh, decisions during battle, it gives you a confirmation. Uh, newcomers, I'd probably leave that on just in case. You don't want to make a mistake, but I'm just going to leave it off because I know what's going on. Uh, you can switch. You can have background music on or off. Uh, same deal with sound effects. You can turn battle voices off and yada, yada, yada and such. Well, you get the idea. Anyways, enough tutorial for now. Let's go ahead and get this thing cracking. Are you ready to leave? 
And of course we are. So let's head on out. And here we are at the guild. This town's guild. That's where we usually that's where we will be going to uh, acquire whatever jobs we can to get some money and some experience if there's any battles involved. Alright, time to go to work. Alright, in every guild, you'll be coming across these wanted posters. Uh, right now, we don't have to worry much about it since we won't have much free roam until uh, later on in the game. But you get to see uh, the name of the monsters, what classes they are, how much they pay for, for killing that said monster, where they're usually sighted, and what ability they're known for. So, we'll be covering, possibly covering those uh, when we come to it later. Um, let's see, talking to these guys, you can get some, uh, eh, it's pretty much just saying that, um, catching up old times, old friends, and such. Okay, this book right here is what allows you to save the game in this journal. And you will want to save a lot from time to time. And we are on the wrong card. Let's switch to card two. There are no available files. Okay. Retry. How can there not be any available files? Um, Alright. We seem to be having some issues here. Okay, well, I'll go back and fix that later. Uh, anyways, moving along. Let's talk to this guy. He's the one that gives you the job. Well, it's comforting to see that some things never change. You're late, Elk, as usual. This is a hot one, kid. You're lucky I didn't give this to someone else. The location of the operation is Audius Skyport. Some radical freak is causing trouble. He's given the Skyport cops fits, but I guess that's no surprise, eh? The job pays 2,000 G, and I gave it to Lynx in advance to hold for you. Oh, well then why the hell would you do that? Wrap this one up quick, okay? And I don't want to mess this time, or I'm charging you for the cleanup. Heh, <laughs> no problem. Uh, why'd you give the dough to Lynx? Look, kid, I paid in advance for your services this time. I'm counting on success, nothing less. Hey! Don't worry, Bean Counter. You bought the best. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get this job going. So, did you get the assignment? Yes. Funny thing, the dispatcher says you've got the bounty for this job already. Uh, yeah. I didn't want him to rip us off. Oh, sure you didn't. I'm more concerned about getting taken closer to home. I'd better get the lion's share of the bounty when this is done. Yeah, yeah. You should know to trust me by now. I'll take care of you. By the way, did you sign in on the journal there? Yes, we did. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Let's go. Great. One Skyport coming up, one terrorist coming down. Okie dokie. We're going from the town of Prodias to the Audius Skyport. Cutscene! Cutscenes. I do like some of the cutscenes in this. It's pretty awesome. But, uh, anyways, we cut to the inside of the Audio Skyport, and we've got a hostage situation. Oh, boy. Oh, and this guy knows magic. Get back, you idiots! Why are you all standing there? Help me! Please remain calm, miss. We want you to walk away from this unharmed. Typical. Now then, sir, tell us again what you want. Didn't you hear him the first time? He wants you to close down the skyport! Please remain calm, miss! Oh, yeah, this is going over really well, isn't it? Let's see, if the skyport is shut down, the St. Diana can't, cannot land. And all the major guests of the ceremony are on board. Of course, now I understand this thug's motives. Without those guests, the ceremony cannot take place. Close the skyport? That's impossible! Then kiss this pretty little girl goodbye. Why don't you stop asking questions and do what he wants? Uh, yeah, you're kind of in a tight spot. I don't know if it's quite negotiable and all, but I don't have authoris... I said shut up and do it! No excuses! Oh, boy. These idiotic rent cops are gonna get all of us killed. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, you don't say! I couldn't agree with you more there. Let's see, he's, he's completely outnumbered by about... Three or four cops. Well, this guy has magic, so it's no wonder they're scared of him. 
So what do you do? We call in a hunter. And they're like, wait, what's a hunter? Apparently some people are not familiar with hunters. Mercenaries that take on tasks for money. Oh, that's a fun job right there. And incoming! Crash. That's a fine way to make an entrance, isn't it? Crash. After about a few second delay. Then again, it was loading up. <laughs> Looks like I landed in the middle of the party. Huh? And she slips away. Awesome job. Good distraction. Damn it! What the hell do you think you're doing? Taking out the trash. Nothing personal. I've got a job to do, and today, you're it. What about the garbage coming out of your mouth, punk? Now stop talking and start bleeding! <laughs> Gotta love the Japanese voice. Voice cries in this. And look at this. The cops are just standing around just doing nothing. It's like, oh, you're gonna let me fight? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you might as well stand back and let me do my job. Okay. If you're familiar with the first arc, the lad, then this is pretty much how the battles go down. You got your range of movement, you can't move past the blue squares that you're allowed, and if you're within range of the enemy, you'll notice a little arrow that says attack. And so since we got a spear and we can uh, go over one square to still hit the enemy, that's what we're going to do. Hit him from the side. Stab, stab! Damn! You are strong! Wow, I took him down in one hit. <laughs> I'm smart! You're smart. What is that? Running away? He who fights and runs away will live to fight another day. We will meet again, and next time I won't be so nice. Yeah. Okay. He ran into the sh he ran into the ship. Oh god, I can't talk. Let's see. I think one of the guys, one of the, somebody gets you a, oh yeah, if you talk to the hostage, uh, and she manages to escape, she will reward you with, oh, she's worried about, oh, she's worried about the cut on the forehead he's got. Huh. Gale bandana, first piece of equipment, yay. Okay, let's put that on. Okay, it's going to lower my attack by three, but it raises my defense and defense by three and agility by two, so I think that's what we're going to do. We'll, leave it. we'll have the Gale Bandana on, which that's, that's all right. Defense in this case is a little bit more important than attack, and attack will, will definitely um, increase later on. Okay, so don't worry about those other, those other idiots. Leave them alone. Go after the guy, and you'll be on the Romalia airship. And we pass by the... Oh, wait. What's this? Someone's in there. I can smell it. Hmm. Could the criminal be in here? Let's see. What do we got? Airship engine room. He's close. Whoa! What the... Oh, God. Red glowing eyes. What the hell is that? Pondit, come here. What? That's a wolf! That's... Uh, what the... Please don't be angry at Pondit. He's just protective of... P protective? Uh, exactly how can a monster be your guardian? Pondit is not a monster! Okay, then your definition is quite different from mine. But why isn't your mutt attacking? Okay, yeah, you don't want to hear monsters. Okay, let's call it a mutt, because it's practically a wolf. Aha! The only way is if you've tamed the creature. That's... So we have a monster tamer here. A bit of a cute one here, too. I have more question... Pressing question. Did you see a strange man run past the door? And apparently... She has no idea what she's talking about. What she, he is talking about. You... Excuse me? You might be looking for me. Ooh, okay, uh, 
no, not really, but what exactly do you mean by that? Silence. With the dot dot dots. I said, what do you mean? Please let me escape. Escape? Uh... Ah, and then we get a yell for help. Damn it! I'll be back for that explanation. Okay, a lot of questions about that girl and that and that dog, wolf creature, whatever. But we got more pressing matters to attend to. Over there. He's headed for the deck. Oh boy! Looks like things can get really crazy. That's far enough. You won't get away. <laughs> Here we are at the airship deck, and there he is. So, are you gonna keep running? Or will you wise up and surrender? I choose... Neither! The chase is over, Hunter! And so is your short career. I will enjoy watching the life run from your veins. What the hell? And he summons a bunch of bats. Four, in fact. Aren't they beautiful? How did you do that? Drink deeply, my pets. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, what the hell? A healing spell? What the... You... Oh, wow. No complaints there. No, not at all. You pretty mu I think you just won this battle for me. And here we come. Our first boss battle of the game. We're fighting against... Alfred. That's actually the name of the boss. Level 2. Don't know what's attack or defense. And we have a couple of bats that we're dealing with. So let's take care of the bats uh, first off because they could be a problem. All right. Attack from the front. Alright, Lisa. Alright, let's check Lisa's stuff out. Lisa starts with a dagger. Plus zero. Okay. I know it's not much, but... Like, again, again, as I said, the more you use her weapons, the higher, the higher the level it goes and the stronger it gets. You can get something better. And she has a Chaos Herb. Heal HP each turn. That's a good, good side item to have on. And, of course, the Gauze Wrap. Um, as for abilities, she has the power to, oh, pretty much scan an enemy and find out its abilities, uh, cut, uh, an enemy's uh, power down, and, of course, cure, which, that's a good heal, good start for a healer right here. But, we don't need to worry about healing right this second, so, let's, uh, stand right back here, and let the enemies come to us. Okay, here comes one bat. Okay, they're going after elk. Let's see, giant bat. Not really giant, but okay. Uh, let's see, dark element, level one. Should be simple enough. Alright, now, here is Pondent, Lisa's little pet. Uh, water elemental, uh, let's see what he's got. Uh, since he's a monster, you can't really do much for um, for equipment, and I'll show you why. All you can, all he pretty much can use is just a weapon. You can't put anything else on him, really. Uh, then again, as he levels up, so do his his stats usually uh, go up as well. So he develops a bit of a tough armor on his own. Okay, abilities. He knows ice shield, which can grant ice protection. So ice spells won't be as effective, and then there's Cold Breath. Reduces agility and does some pretty nice damage. And if you take notice, this is the range it has. So, we're going to put that to the test. And this seems as good as any, because notice, you got one bat in front of him, and one bat off to the right side. So we'll be able to hit two of these bats, and no, you won't have to worry about friendly fire, you won't hurt elk. So let's try this out. Ooh! 
That's pretty nice, isn't it? And level up to Pondent. Yay. And there goes Alfred running like a bitch. <laughs> okay. Well, we've tried the spear a few times. But let's see Let's see what, uh, what a spell of uh, Elks can do. Let's try out Firestorm. Toast the enemy with fire. We'll toast it. Hmm. Well, that's not bad, I guess, but it'll it'll improve over time. Oh, let's say dark. Eh, no wonder it won't be as effective. All right, let's uh, just throw a dagger at it. I'm just about to die, anyways. And this should give uh, Lisa a level up. Yes, it will. And we get a dark charm. Okay. And sometimes, depending on uh, the, the uh, how high the defense is, you can also guard. Sometimes guard from the side, even from the back, if you can, uh, from enemies' attacks. Okay. Apparently, we already used up all this dog, this poor dog's uh, MP, so we're we're stuck with normal attacks. So let's bite them. Oh, and apparently monsters also can uh, level up. I can't let these creatures frighten me. I need to stay calm. Wait a minute, stay calm? Aren't you the one that created them? Why are you suddenly afraid? Huh. Odd. Oh well. Let's see. Okay, Elk's turn again. Okay, we're out of MP. So let's go ahead and take care of... Let's see which one's about to die. This one is. Alright, let's stab this one to the side. And there goes that bat. And level up to Elk. Wow, a lot of stats went up. Okay. Let's see. Okay, nobody's really hurting that bad, so let's just attack. That bat's about to die. And the leveling up level up from him will not save him. So let's bite him! Ooh. That's pretty nasty. And he levels up again! And here comes Alfred. Now let's finish him off. Let's see. I wonder if we can... Okay, start charm, stat change. Okay, that boosts... Um, I think that boosts defense against dark spells. Um, okay, I can't really do much with throwing. Alright. Let's see. Let's stand back here. And move everybody up. Perfect! Stab! And spare level's gone up. Good. Good increase in the skill. Okay. Uh, let's put Lisa back here. And send the mutt up front. Yeah, because he will stab with his daggers. Ow! Damn! Damn, that's... That was pretty, pretty nasty. But he's about to die anyway, so... And spear levels up again. And that's it. That's the first boss fight. Please, help me! I'm not qualified to count counsel nutcases. Perhaps you can consult a prison psychologist. No, you, you don't understand. They'll never forgive my failure. They'll kill me. Who are they? The Cabal. They're everywhere. He never could close this trap. Who are you? Oh no. Give me the girl, now! Do you know these men? They... Shut up! You should keep your nose out of our business before it gets cut off. What did you say? Okay, not the best choice of words. Time to go! 
Where are you gonna run, huh? Damn! Oh boy, this is not looking good. Watch your step, kid! Alright, I'll go... Wait, are you nuts? Lisa? Okay, he doesn't exactly know her name yet, but... Yeah. If I don't, they'll kill us... Ah. And we come to a flashback. Where are those two children? We have to find them now! They went that way! Catch them, hurry! Ouch! Mariel! Get up, come on! I can't! Yes, you can! Okay, this looks like something from Elk's past. Uh, I notice he's a little kid and he's got a friend. They're trying to escape from some place. What place could that be? Aww. She's willing to sacrifice herself to let him get away. No. Oh. And that's, well, not much is known about that, but I guess we'll see to it later. What's the matter, girlie? Get over here! Ain't you gonna tank a kiddo? She just saved your life. Thank you. There you go. For dropping your guard. What? You dirty little rat! Bondit! Oh, damn! Nice! That was pretty ballsy right there. Oh, nice. That's a nice way to escape. You ain't going nowhere, kid! Oh, you asshole! Stop shooting, you dumb bastard! She ain't worth nothing, Cole! Sorry, boss. Damn. Bogart! Yeah, boss. Got a Galano and tell him what happened. Will do, boss. That punk's gonna regret this. Like the freaking Mafia, they, uh... Which, in a way, they kind of are like the Mafia gang. So great, we're on the run from a Mafia gang called the Cabal. Yeah, that's... That's a fine kettle of fish there. And they, try, and they shoot the girl that apparently they're trying so hard to capture. It's hard to... Oh, shit. Oh boy, yeah, that's not looking good for her already. See, we're going to Indigos. You can find someone there who can heal your wounds. So apparently our next destination is to the town of Indigos. And meanwhile in Gallagher's office... You didn't shut down the Skyport? Why not? A hunter? With the power of flame? He beat Alfred, and he took Lisa? Find him, or suffer the consequences. I knew it was too early to send Alfred on a job. I, but I never imagined that kid would become a hunter. And a flame master as well. This is starting to get interesting. What the hell? How does he know all this stuff? Oh well. Anyways, we now have free movement again. Uh, there's a number of places we could probably go to, but might not be able to... Actually, in reality, we can't really go except one place since we got a bleeding girl here. Has a bullet in her chest or wherever she got shot at. But anyways, uh, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to conclude uh, this, uh, this, this episode of Ark the Lad 2. Uh, tune in next time when we will venture into Indigos and see if we can help this poor, innocent, young lady. So until then, I'm your host, Arclay84, and I am signing out for now. Take it easy, guys. Catch you guys later on.